So in our previous video, uh, we talk about props in React.js. We pass this Facebook and chatting value from our parent parent file parent.js to our child.js. That is my props.js. So now in this section, I'm going to teach you uh, about give you a basic concept about map function in react in js so basically uh, uh, map is used for map is used for looping array element so in the last video we passed our name and hobby as props to my props.js but the feature of benefit of having your props is you can have a multiple you can send multiple data as a props in here we have just send our facebook and chatting one variable one file data as a props but uh, we can see send a multiple data as an array of object so let's create that i'm going to create state for the state then let's make a array uh, array called my data which is going to be array so here uh, we're going to send name as code snippet snippet again hobby coding and Let's change him to Superman Hobby Fine Again Batman Fighting Fighting Iron Man and that will be technology so in previous video so in your previous video I will be saying a single file a single data name and hobby but in this video I will be passing a multiple array of object where for for element right now so let's delete this and pass our parallel as my data is called this dot state dot my data in our pros dot js we are accessing our file as this dot pros dot name but in app dot js we are accessing accessing our data as this dot state dot my data because in this file we're accessing the same file that is defined in state property state file so but in props we're accessing this file sending from from parent file so the difference is that for single file we use state and for different file we use props so we are passing state proper property called my data as props in my props dot mine so let's go here and let's make it a bit cleaner also I'll teach you a concept of 
if you watched uh, my previous video I told you about this top sewing that is a really useful feature of ES6 rather than typing every, every time this dot props what you can do is you can make it a props make it a you can destructure this by using const name hobby and then you can use that in there state let me go to previous slide okay we have in let's go to our browser as you can see by using this talk sorry it's working fine as it's supposed to if you are, haven't if you are if you have any confusion about destructuring or you can watch my previous video so go to the app chest then pass our value as object now go to our my props now let's comment it out for a while to comment in react is we have to use like this and everything in between will be commented out it's a multi-line commenting in reactors so we have commented there so let's see our data is coming or not so go to console as you can see there is a array of object first code snippet superman batman iron man coding flying fighting technology so now where we have obtained the value passed as array of object from our parent file to our child but how can we access this data this array data into our file so for that we need map function So let's change this. We are, as, uh, we are obtaining as one. So let's make it my data. Now let's create a constant called my uh, data list. And let's uh, use map function in here my data dot map. Is equal to my then this return um, div as div and that is my name is uh, my name is my dot name this is PR tag my hobby is my dot hobby also use PR tag here so we have uh, created this now instead of using this there are this call our data data list here Now go to our browser. Uh, cannot read purport a map of undefined. Uh, there seems to be some problem. Uh, let me check. So there is an error. Uh, so let's find out. So we're accessing my data. My data passed from app.js. 
or the problem is always using my data. So if you do my data, everything should be working fine. As you can see, all of our four element of object is appearing. It's working fine, but there is a showing an error. And that's called a dialog in an array or iteration should have a unique key or props. So although our our file is working working well, key is really important. Uh, when where you are working with a backend form, backend dynamic form, dynamic table where you create uh when you add something and then it, it will create one, two, three, four, five and multiple number of table row. And when you delete it, uh, you should delete that specific row. For example, if you create one first second and third 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 table row and you are you want to click that delete that row you should know which row you are specifying and for that you need a key so for that let's go to our app.js add some key id one id two id three id four remember uh, no remember that this id field should be unique if you use one and two again one again one there is no point of using id uh, this should be unique and so go to area props and then apply key equals to my dot id remember this is this so if you are using anything like my id then this should be my id this should be my id this should be my id let's go to our browser and now there is no error and you inspect it Uh, let's show it uh, if you show now your id id is this uh, sorry my dot id go to your browser as you can see there is a different id for everyone one two three four it will be useful for a uh, multiple when you're creating a multiple add form or delete form so that's it for this video.